Well, the Honda Indy was back in Hogtown last weekend, and if you're a fan of open wheel auto racing, it was glorious. Ah, oh, the roar of those 700 horsepower engines, the smell of rubber melting on blacktop. Hey, what's not to love? Well, like so many army ants invading a picnic, here come the social justice warriors and the climate change Cassandras. These cats aren't all that impressed with world-class auto racing. So it is that the war on fun continues as the progressives complain that racing is actually detrimental to the environment. For example, social justice columnist Joe Fiorito of the Toronto Star usually pens a woe is me column when the Indy hits Toronto. Here's a nugget of, of, of some previous posts in which Fiorito decries Toronto's annual auto race. Quote, let me remind you that the Indy races held on the grounds of the X are a thing of the past. Performance car races serve no useful purpose unless it is to wreck machinery, ruin eardrums, and waste fossil fuel, end quote. How interesting. But, you know, it should be noted that Fiorito lives close to the race course in nearby Parkdale. Now, ironically, the progressives usually go crazy when it comes to those who espouse a not-in-my-neighborhood mentality. You know the drill, folks. If you're concerned about your family safety or your property value, thanks to, say, a safe injection site being established near your home, the progressives will tell you to shut it up and suck it up, buttercup. It's all part and parcel of living in the big city. But apparently, nimbyism is okay with the progressives if the inventing question might have a carbon footprint. Oh, say it ain't so, Joe. And it's not just the Toronto Indy that's being targeted. Montreal's Formula One Grand Prix has also come under attack. Case in point, a few years ago, Daniel Green, formerly of the Society to Overcome Pollution, stated that the emissions caused by Montreal's Formula One race cause heart attacks, asthma, and even deaths. Gee, I thought the drivers were the ones most at risk in auto racing, but apparently there's carnage up in the grandstand as fans drop like flies due to carbon monoxide emissions. By the way, if the name Daniel Green rings a bell, that could be because he's now the deputy leader of the Green Party of Canada. So now we have another reason to fear the Greens, for if elected, you know these enviro nutters would surely outlaw auto racing on the proviso of public safety. But I digress. Yet, green hysteria aside, what do the facts say about auto racing? Well, Diane Boulay, the chemist responsible for Montreal's air quality, noted in a Montreal Gazette article that the pollution caused by an F1 race is, quote, trivial. Meanwhile, F1 notes on its website that thanks to engineering advances, the fuel its race cars use has evolved to the point where it's now, quote, surprisingly close to the composition of ordinary commercially available petrol, end quote. But even so, the likes of Daniel Green maintain that the Montreal Grand Prix, along with the city's fireworks display, are major contributors to the city's bad air days. Yeah, fireworks too, folks. These greenies really want to make our lives miserable, eh? As for Toronto's Honda Indy, Fiorito isn't calling for an outright ban, mind you, but rather he just wants the race to go green, which is to say he wants Indy race cars to drop fossil fuels and use electricity instead. So in other words, Joe Fiorito is against this kind of spectacle. Honda Indy Toronto gets the green flag. Here we go. Yeah, Joe hates that sort of race. Rather, this is what he wants us to watch. <laughs> Yikes! Gentlemen, start your defibrillators. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.